Cosworth has been designing and manufacturing motorsport engines since 1958, but the company today is much more diverse, operating across the automotive and aerospace sectors, and even building engines for UAVs for the US military. I'm here at Cosworth's headquarters and factory in Northampton to see how this traditional engineering company has become something of an international powerhouse. This is what Cosworth is most famous for, building engines for Formula One and other racing and sports cars. But its strategy in the last few years has taken the company into new fields, helping it increase its profit to almost £5 million in 2010. And one of its more interesting deviations is a world away from the racetrack. In terms of the very small, then there's something else that people might not uh, initially associate Cosworth and the brand with, and that is extremely compact, heavy fuel engines for UAV and portable genset use. And so those really have come from a project which um, came, came about through us understanding uh, there was an opportunity to apply our capability to uh, UAV engines. Um, and that's a project we've been working on, uh, particularly with the US Navy, and that's coming through to a really exciting stage now where we have single-cylinder uh, single engines, twin uh, boxer configuration engines, all of which are true compression ignition. And so uh, that makes a crucial difference, particularly in UAV uh, work, where the fuel economy, fuel efficiency is extremely good from true compression ignition compared to spark ignited. Um, you're also then in a UAV space looking at something where um, because of the reduced amount of fuel that you need to carry for a particular mission you can save weight overall um, or within uh, that space if you uh, particularly need to do a very long endurance mission then the, uh, the very efficient fuel economy means you can uh, do that with a, a standard power plant um, far better than you might be able to otherwise. Diesel engines use the heat generated by compressing air to ignite their fuel but when you're dealing with UAV sized engines, they typically don't provide enough force for ignition and need an additional spark. That's where Codsworth's engines come in. All of these are derived from uh, patented technology in terms of the combustion chamber uh, for these engines, and that's a patent that we own. Uh, it's made a big difference, as I say, in getting true compression ignition to work on an engine of this scale. And that has been one of the biggest challenges, I think, to the industry as a whole. Glow ignite, yes, glow plugs and, and spark ignited. Um, are relatively, and I take this with a big pinch of salt, but they are relatively straightforward compared to true compression ignition at this scale. But if you want that fuel economy, you have to push for the, the true compression ignition. And at the moment, we are the only business on, that has a, a product on the market that uses that. Everything else is spark. So how do you get to UAVs from motorsport engines? Very much the area of crossover is the capability that Cosworth has as an engineering business that we can move from the research and development, prototyping, manufacture and low volume production right the way through that process on the one site in Northampton. Um, that really is, is a benefit that is applicable to customers in the aerospace industry, uh, the automotive and the, sport, the racing sports car industry. Uh, in terms of specific technologies, then obviously some of the expertise in understanding combustion, in understanding uh, pressure charging, and there's certainly areas there where the experience we've had over 54 years as a business certainly give us a lot of the solutions uh, in our design book, uh, as it were, to, to be able to apply rather than uh, defining from scratch and investigating uh, in a lot of the areas that we move into. Following extensive development and testing at 10,000 feet, Cosworth's UAV engines are approaching the production stage. If the company can maintain its strong relationship with the US Navy, then we might see a key component of future American drones being manufactured here in Britain.